Hello everyone, this is what we're going to create today in Adobe Photoshop 6. Just get rid of my taskbar there. Um, roughly this. Um, this is the image that we have to start with. And we're going to start, if I delete that layer, so you can see I'm not cheating, if we start by selecting everything in the foreground which to begin with includes this bar and then using my alt key I'm um, selecting what's not in the bar, it's not made that good a job as Photoshop as this um, <coughs> I've got a drink there zoom in a bit, I've set my mouse wheel to zoom in but there's a hundred ways you can zoom in Again, I'm just using the Alt key to unselect things that shouldn't be there and then clicking without the Alt key to add things in. You get the general idea if you've got extra time. You could spend all day getting a perfect selection. Uh, I'm going to show you a, something here in a minute. surprise some people I'm not going to use the automated selection for it all so it's making a terrible job here and look it's selected that whole building I have got auto enhance selected which usually does a good job but in this case I've got a bit of building showing through there, so deselect that. I want to make sure a hand is selected. And again, we've got a whole load of building here which we want unselecting. Don't worry about the cigarette just yet, we'll just check that everything else is fine. Just like that. And there we have it. And now we just need the cigarette. Instead of trying to select it using this auto selection tool, which is rubbish, this lasso tool, I'm going to use the polygonal lasso tool. Holding down shift, because we don't want to mess up the selection we've already done, we want to add to it. Now we have the selection. Now there is a bouquet tool by Alien Skin, and I'll quickly show you what it does. It is worth getting your hands on this if you like this sort of effect, because that is what you can achieve relatively easy. And we've got this slider down here, which affects where the effect begins and where it ends. You can see there quite clearly it can spin it round whichever angle you want in this case I want it to be in there and set there now it works quite strange because normally you'd expect the selection to be interacted with in this case the lady is selected and it's the selected region that is protected it's just an anomaly of this filter so I would say That looks about right to me with the settings like this. This increases the blur. This is like a zoom and a twisting effect. If 
very expensive lenses, but I don't particularly like it. Even just a small amount, I like the tiniest of amounts. Then the threshold, you increase that and it adds more into the bokeh effect. But I think that's overkill. Over there is not enough. So you get the idea. So around 30% I'm happy with. This slider here is how much brighter it should make the effect. So let's just increase it slightly and then leave it there. Press OK. Wait for it. I'm just doing this on the laptop and it's doing two things at once. It's doing the filter I'm trying to record. There we have it. Selected the B. And you can see, because the perfect selection's not been perfect, it has left these raggedy bits. So when you do it, you would have to perhaps use the Refine Edge tool, although I'm not sure in this picture it would do that much good. I think it would be a manual job. And the great thing about this filter is it automatically copies the layer. So let's go back. Just control Z to reselect. Let's just try the fine edge tool. Paste it on black. Smart radius. See it's getting rid of the cigarette. It's just, it's not doing what I want. In fact, I'm going to bring this shift edge down to the minus. That's slightly better. Like crop parts for a bit. Press Ctrl Z there to get that back. So you can see it's having a bit of a problem with this particular image. Let's leave it like that. Um, decontaminate colours will prevent you from choosing a selection because it uses colour correction. So I think I'm going to not decontaminate the colours and we are going to have a selection. We're going to get rid of that alien skin version. What we are going to do is use Photoshop's version. So if you've just got Photoshop 6, you can do this. So just, it's an amazing piece of software. And we want the field glare. No, we don't. Cancel. We want to invert the selection. Control Shift I. That's what happens when you're working with plugins that work the opposite way around. And we get a nice blur. It's blurring everything that isn't selected, so I want more blur at the back, so if we have one down here in the middle, and then drop another pin there, and increase the blur on that pin, increase it a little more. There we go, we've got a bit of a, a gradient, if you like, of blurriness, and then here we are, we've got the slider. Now, the further right you drag it, the more it is including but if we drag this slider left to the if you look there's the dark cutoff slider, if we drag that to the right it will reduce the colour range of what it is going to include. Now, the circles are round, you can't make them hexagon shape like a true lens bouquet would be, like with alien effects, so that's just something that you're going to have to, one of the drawbacks, and here we can add a bit of colour to it, which I think makes a beautiful effect. So there we go. Okay. Wait for it to do its thing.
and there you have it. Not bad at all. That has done it onto the same layer, so if you wanted to protect your old layer, you'd have to duplicate it before you started. I don't know if the history brush works on this, perhaps it does. Not really. It's trying to, but it's making a mess of it. Well, there you have it. Hope you enjoyed this one.